Well, let's talk now about the investigation into finding out exactly who is responsible for this. Officials are saying that early investigation into this, these deadly attacks point to Islamic extremist and alleged terrorist mastermind Osama bin Laden. Our national correspondent Mike Betcher is joining us here on the set. He's got the latest for us on the investigation, and you've been checking out things. And I want to ask you, first of all, in, in looking at what you've heard and seen so far and talking to those you have, has anyone said to you that they think that the four attacks that happened yesterday were the only four that were planned? Because that, to me, would seem sort of, sort of strange to think that, that any group could be so efficient that they would have 100% effectiveness or efficiency here. Well, I was told by one source that they wanted to ensure, they're speculating now, but that these groups obviously wanted to ensure that they were successful. In other attempts that have occurred, usually uh, a quarter or a half or sometimes none of the efforts work. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, there was a concern, is this over? And no one can answer that question. All right, well, how close now are they getting to actually identifying who they think it's going to, if they're going to be going after here? Well, in the United States, the, the search uh, is centering on three fronts. First, that car that was uh, uh, seized at Logan International Airport in Boston. Uh, inside the car were flight training manuals. They're uh, looking at that car. We've confirmed independently uh, that indeed uh, there are interesting items inside of that car that FBI agents want to look at. Also, another car was seized at uh, Daytona Airport. Uh, in that car, again, there were items in Arabic apparently uh, relating to Osama bin Laden, and that is the reason they are looking at that car. It has been towed away and is being looked at. And at a second location in Florida, in Venice, a couple there has been questioned by the FBI. Uh, they run a flight school, and they say that uh, the FBI indicated to them that maybe two of their former students a year ago may have had something to do with the attacks yesterday, Leon. Let me ask you about the, the material that you said that was found in Boston, because our Bill Delaney was on uh, about maybe an hour and a half or so ago. And he was saying that there was some, some uh, there was some concern that that information may actually be false information floating out there because they would find it because the experts he talked to found it so hard to believe that you would find something left behind that would be an Arabic flight training manual. Is something as specific as that being left behind in the wake of this? Well, let me give you an example. The Daytona car may provide some answers to that. Maybe these people wanted those cars to be found because we have indications in the Daytona car that information was left very obvious relating to Osama bin Laden, that it was left out there for people to see. So, you know, you can speculate all you want about this, and, and it, it's difficult to know. The agents, the intelligence analysts themselves are really wrestling with this issue, and to second-guess a, a terrorist it's a difficult thing to do. All right. What about the overseas cooperation that we've been hearing about so much lately? That the U.S. is going to be seeking it from other uh, states, uh, other entities overseas. And we've heard also that many folks in the intelligence community are concerned that there is no human intelligence, like the, at least not like there used to be. The U.S. doesn't have as many people on the ground in different places. Any concern that that fact alone will prevent them from finding out exactly who is responsible? No, they do not think it will prevent them from finding out who is responsible for this. And what they're looking at is information that they developed over the last two years that al-Qaeda is not a group, it's a network. And I think Secretary Powell said the same thing this morning. It is a network, and this network has been mutating over the past uh, two years, and they've been trying to study this mutation. Uh, for example, al-Qaeda has been reaching out to other uh, terrorist groups, especially in North Africa and especially Algerians. And in 1994, for example, uh, the only other case kind of similar to this was a, uh, a hijacking that uh, went bad for the Algerian terrorist group GIA, which has contacts to bin Laden. Uh, and in that case, uh, they wanted to ram that jet uh, into the Eiffel Tower, but that did not work. And so they're looking at that. Uh, they're also looking at possible significance of dates. Uh, why did this happen in September? They know that bin Laden recently, and if you look at his most recent videotape that came out uh, uh, a few months ago, uh, in that tape, he really embraces the Palestinian Intifada, which is a real shift for bin Laden. In the past, it has been American presence overseas. So they are looking at possible symbolism of September, going back to Black September, which was the radical 
Palestinian group that hijacked four planes back in 1970. Uh, three of those were successful hijackings, and also they were responsible for the Munich massacre during the Olympics. So they're looking at all of these things, going through their files, but nothing hard yet. That's a great indicator of just how much work there is to be done here. Mike Betcher, thank you very much. We'll be talking with you throughout the day on this one. Darren, over to